Hey, what's up? Pixelflux here, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at Corvo Bianco, which is behind Geralt there. Um, this is his very own real first property that he owned, at least that's how he puts it. So he's pretty cool, you know, he owns something right now, he's not a traveler anymore. Anyway, a little bit of a backstory, when in the Blood and Wine expansion, Geralt arrives to the Duchy of Toussaint, the Duchess gives him a very important quest, which is to get rid of a monster that kind of secretly, silently attacks the wealthy and the knights and kills them and ridicules them in all these various ways and in return for that she promises him a very hefty sum of coin as well as the key to this here vineyard um, you do actually get the key beforehand um, before completing the story quest so you don't have to you know spend all this time trying to unlock the vineyard so you know you can you can just kind of you know come here at the very beginning anyway um, when you come here you've got some quite a few options to um, upgrade or um, custom tailor the vineyard uh, if you will make it a little bit more homely and before I forget um, if you've got about 16 17 thousand coins that's gonna be pretty much enough um, I've actually done out um, the whole thing anyway so I'm just gonna start the tour here uh, in the courtyard when you just come here you've got this broken shack here um, which you can upgrade and I've upgraded it and I've ordered a uh, grinding stone to sharpen the weapons and an armor stable to uh, kind of boost the defense for my armor and some of these shouting guys are really annoying anyway the next thing that we've got is a very own stable for roach which I think is very lovely you've got the peasants uh, kind of pitchforking some hay for uh, her and yes roach is a female horse and this serves two purposes one it looks kind of nice and just gives that homely feeling for your horse and two that gives 100 percent or or plus 100 whatever stamina boost uh, to the horse so that's pretty useful um, before the races then we've got the greenhouse which used to belong to some lady um, in here when you upgrade this um, greenhouse you've got various plants growing here which are intended for your um, mutagen um, alchemy recipes so you know when you want to turn one mutagen into another one stuff like that um, these are kind of the rare plants that you need usually they're quite rare but you know it's really handy to have them here next up just to the side of this here greenhouse we've got a few rows of various plants and uh, I've already picked these ones off but you know you've got some yellow ones here uh, these are used generally for making of the armor dyes so you know you've got all these different colors again these ones I picked out some, some purple ones blue ones um, you know you use them to make these things so you know that's that's pretty cool so you don't have to look for these specific colorful plants uh, they're just there for you so you know not expensive but definitely useful and I think that's pretty much for the outside so I'm gonna go to the courtyard again um, one of the upgrades that you can actually get as well is um, you kind of do it in tiers anyway so, you've got, so you do one list of things and then once they're done a few days later you can come back to the butler and say hey what's 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 the other things that we can do and he actually tells you that the peasants were cleaning up the uh, wine cellar there and they found something interesting so you come here and uh, you've got this broken wall here so it kind of looks like it's just a solid wall with a crack in the middle so you know you just break off that cracked wall and you find this secret alchemy lab uh, with the friendly skeleton which I've named Bob there a really jolly fella he's got a smile on his face helmet glove ready for to go anyway so you've got this alchemy lab and you can use this this here table and you can use that table as well uh, what that table does, unfortunately I cannot use it anymore because I haven't got uh, what to do with it basically, but what you could do uh, was, at least what I did with it, uh, was, uh, you know how you get those uh, various mutagens for, from specific monsters, say I've got the algul, uh, the algul mutagens or werewolf mutagens or wraith mutagens or stuff like that, you can't really use them anywhere beside decoctions. And since you can use mutagens kind of here and you can sell them and whatnot, 
um, they've made this uh, table available for you to turn those kind of um, monster specific mutagens into their own um, original form. So you've got the red werewolf mutagen for example and you can turn it back into just a regular red mutagen and then you can obviously use those to make uh, greater mutagens and stuff like that and then you can use them in like potions or uh, character mutations. And then you've got this here table so I'm just gonna bring back the UI if I use it on the lower left you'll see that bombs and potions have gained an additional charge and this table also replenishes all your potions and bombs so you don't really have to meditate you can just visit this here place um, otherwise there's nothing really uh, exciting in there so let's just go inside and uh, one of the upgrades that you can do to this is just kind of make it less shabby because when you arrive um, everything's kind of broken obviously the blends in a way anyway everything everything's kind of broken the paints chipped off and uh, you know there's this it just kind of looks bleh and the insides all shabby and broken and abandoned and you've got the cobwebs and dust all over the place so th these are some of the things that you can do to it so once you upgrade it looks really nice if I may say so uh, a couple of things that you can do in here, you can order additional armor stands, so I've got the Ophiri set here, I've got the New Moon set there from the uh, Hearts of Stone expansion, I've got this Undwick set, I've got a Mastercrafted Wolven, and I've got the Toussaint Knight's armor set there. But obviously you can put whatever you want in there. So these three come with the general redecoration and they can order these two additionally. Uh, then you've got the uh, sword hangers there. So I've got a couple of fury blades there. I've got some blades here. Um, then you've got some wall mounted swords there. Uh, sword racks. You've got another rack there. So you can just put you know various weapons there if you want to. And you'll notice these rectangular patches there. Those patches are for paintings. Unfortunately, I've only got one at the moment, which is this one. Um, that's uh, from a Witcher contract with a... I don't know, was he a duke or a count? I think he was a count something. Uh, anyway, really interesting quest. And, you know, you've got the option to kind of, you know, just say fuck off and, you know, just go about your business or... Uh, you accept his invite to his art exhibition and during that exhibition that's the first painting that I've got and it uh, illustrates me on that quest not gonna spoil too much but really interesting so something to look out for uh, this dining area here doesn't really have much to do with it it's, um, apart from that one slot for your uh, uh, paintings that's about it uh, I'm just gonna quickly run upstairs show you what it's like um, you've got a separate option to improve the guest room, which is what this is. Uh, this is just a guest room, absolutely no use to the Witcher whatsoever, except for that one uh, spot to hang your painting, I guess, and that's about it. Um, the butler told me that, you know, just in case somebody comes along and wants to visit you, blah blah blah, it's, it's a good idea to have this ready, yada yada yada. Um, I've not played enough of the story mission, uh, story campaign, to see if anyone actually comes to visit. Maybe they will, maybe they won't, who knows. Um, but, you know, I've, I've done this, so just in case somebody comes in, maybe I'm gonna get some extra stuff. You never know. Um, that's about it. And do the barrel roll. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna run to the kitchen here. I really wish they did something more interesting with the kitchen. There is absolutely nothing to do here in the kitchen. Uh, there, there's no loots, there's no nothing. I was expecting maybe I could, you know, cook some food in the pot, maybe, you know, throw in some ingredients or something, just make it a little bit more interesting, but nope, there's nothing. So, you know, hopefully they will um, remedy this, remedy this, sorry, um, using a patch or something. Maybe people are gonna say, look, we want, we want some variety, give us more stuff for free, blah, blah, blah. Maybe CDPR is gonna do something about it, but don't hold your breath about it. And now we're gonna go to the useful room, which is the bedroom. So in here, 
we've got a bookcase, so if I use the bookcase, it's going to show a little animation of Geralt opening a book, and that just gives you your book section from the inventory or whatever. So, you know, nothing really fancy there, except for the animation. You don't, don't really gain anything from it. You've got a painting slot there, and you've got three um, slots for your awards or trophies. At first I thought they were going to be trophies that have, uh, you know, chopped off monsters, like monster heads and whatnot. Nope, they're not those kind of trophies. Uh, if I just turn on my UI there. So I've got uh, two shelves, uh, two kind of cabinets for the trophies there, and one shelf. On that shelf I've got my fist fighting championship trophy. And um, you can also get a Gwent one for the, from the Gwent tournament, and maybe there's going to be something else. There's definitely three slots. So should be at least three um, trophies. Uh, you've got another one slot for a painting there, and you've got your very own box, a storage uh, chest. So you've got all these different things. And most importantly, in this room, you've got the bed. So this bed is also upgradable. You've got a tatty one to begin with, and then you can get this king one. And uh, once you start when you just start in this house you've actually got the bed level kind of shabby or whatever it says and it's got a 60 minute duration and gives you 500 extra points to your health and you've also got the bone bonus experience for the library which i think is the uh this room i guess it's, it's where your bookshelf is uh, but basically you get those two as a default and then when you unlock the alchemy laboratory you get this uh extra charge thing and when you create the stables for a roach you got this here thing so all you gotta do is just rest on the bed and that's it so I'm just gonna do it and these bonuses are gonna be active so there we go I'm gonna bring back the UI so these three uh, things there they're your bonuses and they last for at least an hour and I think the health lasts an hour pretty cool so I'm just gonna kill the UI again, and uh, you know an important thing with uh, some with, with this house and especially the alchemy laboratory is if you've got the Grandmaster Manticore armor, um, which is as I've mentioned in my previous videos aimed at in alchemy build, because it gives you some some good stuff like toxicity and it gives you an extra charge for your bombs and alchemy items. You can actually um, have six bombs each, seven uh, swallow and thunderbolt portions. You can have five superior white reference decoctions, which are brilliant. Um, the superior ones to actually recover all of your vitality at once and they give you inv inv invincibility for like three or five seconds or something like that really good potion my favorite and uh, obviously you've got all these different things that you can um, do as well so you know pretty useful and the developers actually did think you know what can we do to make this homely so obviously the armor sets and the swords so that's that's pretty cool um, I wish I could order maybe some more armor stands maybe I would have one here uh, maybe I would have one cool one in the bedroom, or maybe two of those, maybe one in the guest room. Um, maybe do something more interesting with the kitchen, but you know, CDPR definitely thought about this and tried to make it useful and not just like a random property. So, you know, they, they do try to drive you back here um, to get those boosts from your sleeping. So, um, definitely worth coming back, you know, every now and again, just uh, to make your life a little bit easier. And especially before horse races, so you can get that extra stamina from Roach. And uh, yeah, it becomes quite important, and especially if you play on Death March difficulty like I do. Anyway, it's a beautiful place, and, you know, the Blood and Wine expansion just really blew my mind in terms of detail and just what is included in the game and you know the armor dies and everything it's just beautiful and you know the grass movement here they've improved that so uh you know really happy with it so definitely recommend picking that up and especially if you can play at 4k like i am right now um it's just you know it's, it's something else it's it's definitely game of the year about three or four hundred times like it was kind of last year <laughs> i think it got a ridiculous amount of awards like 500 or something Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this video and uh, it's been hopefully useful to you. 
uh, give us a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, consider subscribing if you like this kind of content and uh, I'll definitely make more videos because I've got a new system that just runs everything and it's just very convenient. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video.